hello there dear friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching in this video we are going to talk first of all about harry maguire the slab head the slab head is in jail in greece apparently he wanted to beat somebody up and the police officer was there and arrested him and when he was arrested he tried to corrupt that officer and the officer took him to jail and now he's charged with corruption violence and all kind of uh, charges slabhead still in jail and man united say that they are aware of the situation and they are doing anything they can to get him out of the jail well people have been saying that uh, harry maguire been an example captain leader at man united but what he's doing off the field it doesn't look like it and even on the field he's not uh, such an example remember when he wanted to kill michiba Chwai and the referee didn't even give a yellow card and after the game the fa came out and apologized and said he should have uh, got a red card but it was already too late because Harry Maguire went to score the winning goal so that is not something that I can take lightly I don't like any kind of injustice in football and when I see those kind of injustice from the referees and from the FA and the VAR man I feel like vomiting and Harry Maguire should be stripped of the captaincy because I don't know how he became the captain of Man United. He was there just like for six months and already the captain? What's going on here? Paul Pogba, maybe the guy who've been in the academy or somebody else in the team supposed to be the captain. The captain also supposed to be an example on and off the field. Harry Maguire right now is making a lot of mistakes on the field and also off the field trying to corrupt authorities is not something that can, that you can teach to your kids so harry maguire i hope that man united are going to take this seriously and take advantage of the situation and take the arm banned from him and if you are a man united fan or you are just a football fan let me know who deserves to be the captain in that team because it doesn't look like they have many leaders paul pogba we know who paul pogba is you can, you know he, he likes uh, his instagram stuff and dancing and all that so people really don't take him seriously but i think paul pogba can be a good captain he showed us in the world cup when he was basically the captain of france because he was the guy who was talking to the group who was pushing the group to go and win the world cup so he was kind of a captain and he's a captain material many people are saying that bruno fernandez supposed to be the captain of man united but hey come on man the guy who just got here in january and you are going to undermine the whole dressing room by giving him the captaincy man it's not going to be good in the dressing room yeah you can say harry maguire also was there for a very short period of time but harry maguire is english he's homegrown and people can tolerate that better than somebody from portugal who've been in the team for only six months let's now talk about lewis dunk from brighton what i can say is well done agent wow he just signed five years contract improved contract at brighton that tells you everything you want to know they use chelsea football club as a stepping stone they use chelsea's name they use apparently chelsea's interest so they can get a better contract it happens all the time unfortunately people don't learn because they like to listen to speculations and gossip he had nothing to do with chelsea football club here that was just 
tactics from the agent to get him a new contract. When are we going to learn, people? The same thing can be said for Thiago Silva. I've been telling people that I think Thiago Silva is going to sign a new contract with PSG, but they are using Chelsea Football Club and other teams around Europe so they can push PSG to give him a new contract. I'm not going to be surprised next week to hear that Thiago Silva signed maybe a one-year extension with PSG or two years extension and don't say that I didn't tell you because you heard here first. But if he comes to Chelsea Football Club, welcome brother. That is going to be maybe uh, the money from Chelsea is going to be good and he would like maybe to try a new adventure in England. It's all good for me. I will support him even though I don't believe that he's going to, to perform good with the physicality in the Premier League. He already lost a yard of pace. He is injury prone and Chelsea should stay away from this brother. But hey, I don't make decisions and Chelsea know exactly what they are trying to do. If he comes to Chelsea, welcome brother. The last piece of news for this video is about Gabriel from Lille. I can't pronounce his last name and I am sorry. We all know that uh, Chelsea gave up. They don't want to go for him because they are waiting for apparently the best. Uh, and now it's between Arsenal and Man United. One hour, it's Arsenal. He's having the medical at Arsenal and the paperwork are almost done. The next minute, it's all Man United back in the business and they are trying to convince him to go there. And also Napoli. Don't forget that Napoli also still in the discussion because they want to sell Khalidou Koulibaly to Man City or probably Chelsea. <laughs> I am just joking here. And... Uh, they want to buy Gabriel to replace Koulibaly. That tells you the quality of the player. I don't know why Chelsea don't see those qualities, but I'm going to just trust the board, trust the management team, and also the scouting department. So now we don't really know what is happening. By the time you watch this video, it could be already done. Arsenal got some good relationship with Lille. Remember Nicolas Pepe? They bought him for, I don't know, 72, 73 million pounds. And that caused a lot of trouble. And some people got fired because of that. That is another topic for another day. But agent from Lille and agent from Arsenal have some kind of connection. The Brazilian connection. Gabriel is Brazilian. Edu is Brazilian. Kia, the agent, is Brazilian. So you can see the connection here. They got some very good money from Arsenal. So, I mean, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Let's uh, help each other. So, I don't blame them. That is uh, the nature of the business. Anyways, guys, apparently United also are determined to get him because Harry Maguire, you know, he's in jail. <laughs> and he's not even performing good. He got a lot of mistakes in him. The world's most expensive defender, you know. And uh, they want somebody, another, another center back. Anyways, we don't know what is going to happen. Let me know what you think about uh, this situation. Who is going to win this war? God bless you. And see you in the next one. Leave your comment. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification so you are the first to know every time I upload a video in this channel. Bye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unknown brain. Marvin Devine uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the time